The Covered Bridge Festival returns next weekend with award-winning musicians, vendors, and, of course, fun for the whole family. Tanya Stevens and Daniel Grindstaff are both here with more information. Thank you both so much for being here. Thanks for having yeah. us. Yeah, of course. So, Tanya, I want to start with you. Tell me just a little bit about the festival in general. And this has been going on for 52 years. 52 years, yes. Uh, a tradition in our community that is longstanding and everybody looks forward to it. Uh, at a point now where we're drawing people from all all over not just the region uh -huh. uh, but the country wow. we have um, close to a hundred vendors that are coming from several different states um, around and uh, lots of attractions for your family to be involved with. It's family friendly and just excited about a great weekend to come. It sounds so fun. It really does. And so tell us a little bit about what people can expect. You guys kick it off on Thursday night. Yes, uh, we'll start setting up our vendors on Thursday and we'll have music in the park Thursday evening and uh, then we'll start Friday at 10 a.m. with our full festival. So our vendors will be set up. You'll get all of your traditional festival food, but we right. also have some healthy options. Ooh. We have a vegan wrap vendor that will be there. So nice. some interesting things to, to see and, and a variety of um, arts and crafts vendors and uh, some even local nonprofits that get to take uh, part in the festival as well. Wow, that's wonderful. And of course, one of the main things about the festival is the entertainment and the live music. It's so much fun. And so Daniel, tell me a little bit about some of the people that will be coming to entertain everyone. We're very, very excited about the entertainment this year. Thursday night, we're going to have Carson Peters. He's He's a favorite, and he's, he's been at the coverage, Covered Bridge the last several years, uh -huh. and we're going to kick it off with him. Uh, Friday, uh, of course, I'm, I guess I'm excited about uh, Friday and Saturday as anybody. We're going to have Doyle Lawson on Friday night, and the music starts at 5. Doyle will go on at 8. Uh, Doyle is a legend, you know, Dove Awards. He's a seven-year vocal band of the year awards, Grammy uh -huh. nominations. And, yeah. You know, he's the type of artist where his music spans just so many generations, and uh, Really, really excited about having Doyle. And on si Saturday, the music starts at 5, and we're going to close out with uh, country artist Billy Dean. Uh -huh. uh, Billy has 11, you know, top 10 hits, five number ones, uh, Grammy Awards, mm -hmm. CMA Awards, you know, uh, ACM Awards. So, uh, you know, cool. come out and hear the hits, and, yeah. he, and he will be, you know, right there, and, and it just to where you can hear him sing his best known songs. and. Close out, uh, close out a really great festival with Billy. Yeah, that's and, so uh, cool. Yeah, I mean, we're excited to have artists of that caliber be able to come to Elizabethton and entertain everyone from all over, not just the region but the country as well. I mean, that must be so cool. It is. We've been so blessed the last few years to, you know, uh, be able to get artists like that. You know, with Dole, it took two years to get Dole. Wow. I mean, he he, has, he probably has packed his schedule. He has he? a he has a very busy <laughs> schedule, and Billy as well. And uh, those guys are still, you know, the status they've hit musically, they're, they're yeah. very, very busy. And uh, we do start planning about a year and a half ahead to wow. get people like that. But, uh, you know, what we try to do with entertainment is get artists that span, you know, different age groups that's mm -hmm. so family friendly. Uh, you know, my little boy, Finn, he's going to come out and, and he loves to just go out to the music and he'll dance around and have a big time and it's just really fun. yeah you it can really is. you can come out with your whole family and and hear you know Right. Here hits. Here's here's songs that you remember and songs that you enjoy. Oh, that's great. And you mentioned your son. This is a family-friendly event, Tanya. And there's yes. going to be even a kids area as well. Yeah, we have our traditional paid area that's your inflatables, rock cl uh, rock climbing wall, and that kind of thing. But on Friday from 10 to 6, a completely free area for your children to come out. The UT Extension office that's right close to the mm -hmm. uh, the festival grounds. Saturday um, the afternoon at Bonnie Kate Theater, there'll be some activity going on. And then Saturday evening, there is a Parent child kickball <laughs> and softball tournament. Um, so those yeah. are going to be those are going to be really exciting additions to our festival. So and, and that's just showing that we do want the whole family involved and we want the entire community to come right. out and enjoy. It's just going to be so much fun. Well, we appreciate you guys coming in oh, and and telling us all about the Covered Bridge Festival happening next weekend. So make sure you grab the family and head down to Elizabethton. It'll be at the Covered Bridge Park from June seventh through the 9th. And Chris, back over to you talking about corn.